Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. Today's project is to turn these two old broken garbage cans into uh, these two new flower pots. I have done this before, I actually have two of these already. One black and one gray. <laughs> the gray one I've had for probably 10 years. And uh, it's still going, it's got a tree in it right now. Uh, the other black one is empty. If you watch my uh, gardening videos on life in Thailand, you'll see I've used it a few times. I did a turmeric in there. I grew potatoes in it or tried. I've used it for a few other things. They old up very good. Like I say, the one is 10 years old. And this old garbage can, the, the gray one, is the same age. But what happens to these garbage cans is the top goes on them. You see that? There's no there's no lip on here anymore. So you can't really put anything in it because it's got no strength. Here's a better example. You see this here breaks. I just broke that a couple days ago. And uh, yeah, there's no strength to it anymore. It doesn't hold its shape, you know? This is quite easy to do. I will go over the tools I'm going to use for this, like I say. I have done this before, I know exactly what I want, I know exact measurements and everything. Uh, my measurements are only for this garbage can, but you get the idea. You can turn any broken down container into something to grow in, you know? There's no reason to throw this away when you can grow food in it. And like I say, uh, one of them I've had for 10 years already at least. Yeah, about 10 years I guess. Long time. And that garbage can wasn't broken. I just decided to make a flower pot out of it because it was cheaper than buying one the same size. Okay, the tools I'm going to use, I'm using the angle grinder to cut the, the garbage can in half. You could use a axe saw, jigsaw, maybe even a hand saw. Uh, a little difficult to do with a knife, but possible. You'd have to be very careful because it would be a great way to stab yourself. But I'm using an angle grinder with a zip cut blade, very very thin blade. Need a measuring tape, marker, marking black with black could be fun. Uh, drill, this is flower pot, it needs oils and I'm putting andos on it as well. I'm going to use this rope and some old garden hose to make the andos. Like I said, I have a pot to go off of, so this is going to go pretty easy. No experimenting here. That part's already done and proven, <laughs> and proven that it works. I'm going to use these PVC cutters to cut the pipe, cut the hose. You could use a knife or anything, but this is this makes it easier. Five inches I want for the handles. Doesn't not have to be even close to perfect, but you know, perfect is acceptable. I want my pot to be 12 inches deep, and I think that's a good depth for no matter what size the container is. Uh, that's plenty of soil for just about everything. I'll mark it in a few places and then connect the dots. Okay, this thing, because the rim is going on it, it's very hard to work with. It's so flipsy, flimsy. I'm just going to go freehand. Just straight edge if you want. I wonder how many people was complaining about the rooster. 
<laughs> I'm sure someone is. Now, like I said, you can use a lot of stuff to cut this, but look how flimsy this is. If you were using a saw, it would be very difficult. Jigsaw is probably the best if you don't have one of these. Okay, here we are. Just gonna trim up the edges here, get the, the burrs off. Now, the only other thing to do is put the holes in the bottom, which is very important, and uh, the handles, which is not that important but it sure makes it a lot easier to move it. That is for sure. I'm gonna drill these out with, uh, I think it's 3 8 drill bit, 3 8 of an inch. It's the biggest one I got. We'll poke a bunch of holes in the bottom, uh, handles on both sides. No rhyme, no reason to how I do this. Although as you can see the bottom, you know what I mean? So you can either go, this would be the low point right here, or you can have it put it on the high point so you got water always a little bit of sitting in the bottom, which is not bad. It works almost like a reservoir, only just a you know, quarter of an inch, five, six millimeters deep. I went right through this part last time. We'll put one right in the middle. You don't want to push too hard, the drill can hook. You can actually drill this out in reverse, with the drill in reverse, and then it won't. Then it's not going to hook at all. That'll do it. And again. Handles. Opposite of each other, obviously. Uh, one inch down. And three and a half inches of Three and a half inches apart, one inch down, opposite of each other. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I got a piece of wood in here, something to, cause this is so flimsy. I'm gonna drill right into the wood. Try that again without dancing on the camera. Okay, let's make the handles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our rope through here and then put our piece of garden nose on there, which is optional. I don't think the handle is optional. I think you really gotta have the handle. And you tie it on the inside. Tie it on the inside, I use a double overhand knot. Make a loop like that. 
one through one through by using the double knot it's just bigger around that's all and less chance it's going to pull through the hole push it up tight you want to leave the end out an inch or so three quarters of an inch something like that if you leave it really long it's just going to get in your way and you're not going to be too impressed with it run it through figure out how long you want it you know I like something like that it works for me now we need some extra for the knot we'll go that much cut the the rope against a piece of wood is always best for cutting rope so you don't get a frayed end got a perfect straight cut there makes it easy to melt it's always best in my opinion if you've seen my rope tutorial knot tutorial videos it's always best to burn the end of the rope melt the end of the rope especially nylon rope it'll fray out and cause you all kinds of nightmares but like that like, should never be a problem <laughs> now we do a double over end knot on the other side so we're going to bring it up as tight as we can make our loop through that loop back and around and through it again tighten it up got our little nub sticking out pull it tight boom one handle like I said uh, the hose on here optional I don't think not putting a handle on here is a very good idea should have a handle okay guys there it is two very simple free for me flower pots uh, these garbage cans were basically junk you couldn't put anything in them because they won't hold their shape and that's pretty much useless in it and uh, I'll probably get a few more of these I got some other ones that are getting in bad shape now these gray ones were really really good and then once they changed and started making them cheaper they went black and the black ones are breaking down a lot quicker uh, like I said this this one is probably 12 years old I bought six of them same time now two of them are flower pots <laughs> and uh, gave away one or two of them yeah but I got a, quite a few of these and they're starting to break down so I'm gonna end up with a bunch of these but it's a great use for them you can grow a lot of food in a space this big you'd be surprised if you've never done it you'd be surprised what you can get out of a small little garbage can these hold about 25 no sorry about 30 liters of soil uh, the, the garbage can originally was 66 liters so it's about 30 30 plus liters in it right now uh, it'll hold right now if you go right to the top I can't show you what these are going to look like planted out because well our planting season is uh, a long ways away that's for sure alright guys as always thanks for watching hopefully you found this video interesting uh, I like to turn stuff into a new use if possible I don't like throwing anything away reduce reuse recycle it's how I've always lived my life <clears throat> and this is a good example of it alright guys as always thanks for watching I do appreciate it